In today's video, we're gonna be replacing and upgrading the exhaust tips on this Ram 1500 with the Flowmaster Direct Fit exhaust tips. So let's get started. Right, guys and welcome back to today's video so if you guys have been following along with our build on this ram 1500 we previously tried to plastic dip the factory tips this is an eco diesel model and the exhaust tips apparently get a little hotter than the hemi ones it seemed to work on the hemi model but it didn't on this so long story short we are going to be replacing these and these are a direct fit from flowmaster i will link these down below where you guys can check these out these are going to enhance the look and and you know look a lot better than what we had on there so they fit the 2009 and up up to the ram 1500 classic edition so um, as of the making of this video they're still making this fourth gen body ram and these will bolt right on so i will link them down below where you guys can get them so these are ceramic coated in black and they're 304 stainless steel these are clamp on so we don't have to do any cutting no welding nothing like that just unbolt the factory clamp and bolt these in place so let me get these out of the box and i'll show you guys so once you get them out of the packaging you guys these are a real nice piece so unlike the factory tips where there's only a tip for like three inches and then it goes back into the small um, you know, I don't even, I think it's like two and a quarter maybe or so. I don't know. If, I don't think that's two and a half, but it goes into the smaller size way up here. So whereas these ones carry the larger diameter all the way through right up to pretty much where it clamps. So it doesn't, I think this looks a little more beefy in my opinion. And if we take a quick look at the difference, so see how this one just has this rolled edge, whereas this one has that nice smooth transition. So these ones I think are going to look a heck of a lot beefier once we get them on so you see on this side it does have the factory uh clamp and flare on there so all we're going to do is unbolt right there and we can go ahead and bolt these up so underneath the truck you're going to see a 13 millimeter bolt we're going to loosen this you might find that this is uh a little bit frozen if you give it a good nudge it will break free so we'll loosen this and then i'll get this off Okay, so once you give it a good bang, you'll be able to take this off. Clamp comes with it. Now let's get to the fun part. So we're gonna need this factory clamp. It does have a tack weld off on the back side here. So you do it one of two ways. You can either work it back and forth so we can break the tack, or you can get an angle grinder and just nip it. But we're working with limited tools, like I mentioned. So go ahead, work this back and forth. I got it on the grass, so we're not gonna scratch anything. And this coating is already come off so i'm not too concerned about it and we'll get this clamp off okay so next up we're gonna take our exhaust tip get it in place we're gonna put our clamp around and we'll put the bolt through you don't necessarily have to take the bolt out but i just found it a little bit easier to get everything off so we'll put our bolt through and we'll get it situated and then we'll hang it So then you're gonna come back here. We're gonna make sure that it's all centered up and then you're gonna finally snug this down. And we'll tighten this up and that's about it. All right, that looks way better, you guys. So I think it's a lot better look in my opinion. You can, you know, you can decide where you wanna put them on that side. So last time I put these back on, I decided to have a smaller gap at the top and then wider on the sides, but I think it actually looks better keeping the gap consistent all the way around so it's almost the same gap on the top as it is the sides you guys choose what kind of gap you want you can adjust it around and angle it but overall that tip looks much much better and beefy than this little guy with a little hole in the bottom which the other thing i don't like it's got this drainage hole in the bottom since it's got this rolled edge so that if any water gets in there it drains at the bottom whereas that one doesn't have this rolled edge that'll collect water and stuff so let's get this one off 13 mil bolt do the same thing and we'll see how they both look all right, so you guys know the deal. We're gonna loosen this 13 mil bolt and we'll take off this tip as well. So we'll give it a little bump and off she comes. Go back to our grass or whatever the soft surface you wanna use. And we're just gonna work this back and forth again. This one's actually a lot easier. I think the tack must have been smaller. Oh yeah, this one had one little tack on this. So she's off. Now we'll go put it on the new tip. Okay, so we'll get the new tip in place. We'll go ahead and we'll tighten our clamp. 
Okay, so I pretty much have them where I want them. Comment down below where you guys prefer to have them. I'd be curious to know. Do you prefer to have a almost consistent gap all the way around? Especially when they're, you know, we have these upgraded tips and they look a lot nicer. I'd rather have them hang a little bit lower and you can actually see them. Or do you guys rather have them closer to the top of the bumper and, you know, wider gaps on the side? Because if I push it up, <clears throat> then you're gonna have this kind of look versus if I pull it down, you can have a nice consistent gap. I guess it's personal preference, but let me know down below which way you guys like it better. Snug this up and uh, I'll show you guys the end result. All right guys, well that's gonna be a wrap for the exhaust tip install. So I will link that down below. Doesn't even take that much time. I literally only used a 13 millimeter ratchet and got the job done. And I think it looks much, much better. So comment down below what you guys think of this. I think it's a huge improvement over stock. It definitely beats our plastic dip job that we had on those exhaust tips. So much better. If you guys enjoyed this, make sure you give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. If you guys are new to the channel, we'll see you guys on the next video.